a works a work week a work week's worth of 23 to 1 intermittent fasting coming right up hey guys aaron here welcome to ad keto your weekly dose of all things ketogenic diet um, today we're talking about intermittent fasting um, but before i get to that you might notice i'm not outside of my picnic table anymore um, i'm down in my basement in sort of this makeshift studio space um, the lighting's really bad the background has holes all over it um, but you know it's going to do for now hopefully i'll be able to upgrade it as time goes on get a little bit better lighting in here get a little bit better backdrop behind me uh, but for now it's nice and cozy it's kind of quiet I like it. So uh, that's the new space. This week I am trying a little experiment. Uh, I've been having a really good week uh, diet wise, um, although my weight loss is kind of stalled out. I started off uh, when I started keto at about 272 pounds um, and these days I'm down to about 220. Uh, I've been doing a lot of exercising. I did a half marathon last Friday. Uh, just because and while my weight did dip down uh, the day of that run uh, it jumped back up like I thought I, I knew that it was kind of I lost a ton of water weight while I was running it sort of jumped back up on me um, and I have plateaued for the last couple of weeks I've been hovering around 220 between 220 and 218 just kind of hovering there and one of the ways um, that I think a lot of people deal with stalls when they happen uh, is to try intermittent fasting which works really well and intermittent fasting if you're not familiar with it is basically to give yourself a window during the day in which you eat so the most common form of intermittent fasting is 16 to 8 intermittent fasting meaning basically of the 24 hours a day in a day uh, 8 are spent eating and 16 are spent not eating and you basically do that by skipping breakfast having sort of a maybe a late lunch at 1 or 2 in the afternoon and having a normal dinner uh, and I've tried that in the past it's worked for me a couple times uh, recently has not so I decided uh, that this week I would try to do a work week five days Monday through Friday of intermittent fasting uh, 23 hours fasting to one hour eating um, also known as 23 to 1 intermittent fasting so the plan is to just to do my vitamin and uh, supplement regimen in the morning, which is magnesium, a multivitamin, and some fish oil. I'm gonna skip my coffee because that's kind of a trigger for me. And I'm just going to kind of coast through the day on my fat stores and come home, get dinner ready each day, and uh, have a big meal for dinner, and probably have some jello for dessert and or some halo top. And then that's gonna do it until the next day, one meal a day. So I'm gonna do the same thing for all five days of the week. I am planning on exercising every morning. I usually do a three mile jog uh, just around my neighborhood, uh, weigh myself on Monday, and then do the same thing throughout the week and not weigh myself again until see how I do, see if I can break through this kind of mini plateau that I've hit recently. So right now it's Sunday night and I will kind of do a quasi vlog through the week and uh, should be fun. So we'll give it a go. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Happy Monday. Hi everybody, just finished up my morning run. Gonna head back to the house, saunter on back, and step on the scale. We'll see how I'm doing at the beginning of this 23 to 1 intermittent fasting week. Whoa, oh, not that much. All right guys, so I'm headed off to work fasted. I'm at 220.4, so that's a pretty good starting spot. It's about where I thought I'd be today. Um, we'll see how it goes today with fasting. I am going to have water, um, but that's gonna be it today until I come home. Still trying to figure out what to do for dinner. So I'm about halfway through the day. Haven't really felt super hungry today. I've had a couple cans of water. Uh, I went to the mall and walked around like an old person. Uh, on my lunch break, uh, but so far so good. Uh, I think I will have no problem getting through until dinner this evening, and I've already got a plan for what dinner is going to be. It's going to be the breakfast for dinner tonight. All right, y'all, I made it through the day. Um, actually, going to get my hair cut now. Um, going to get all of them cut.
That's one of my favorite dad jokes ever. Hey everybody, uh, just finished eating about half an hour ago. Um, I'm very full. I had probably a 23, 2400 calorie dinner just now. I made eggs for everybody. Um, one of my sons did not eat his, so uh, I ended up eating a total of, I think, eight eggs. <sighs> I had uh, six pork sausages. All of that was made in about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Then I did um, an avocado, which had not ripen ripened enough yet. It was very hard. So I was able to slice out what I could and fry that in with the coconut oil. It actually turned out really well. I liked it quite a bit. And I had a protein shake. I had a cup of brie cheese, which was really good. And then for dessert, I had half a pint of red velvet halo top. And uh, I am feeling full. So, but I didn't really have any issues getting um, to dinner time tonight. It felt, I felt fine. Um, so we'll do the whole thing again tomorrow. Day one down, four more to go. Let's go, guys. So, what do you want? Pigs. Oh, you guys, my week of intermittent fasting at 23 hours fasting and one hour eating is botched. The second day, um, my boss was nice enough to take uh, us out to lunch today. We had a cluster of people with birthdays over the last three months, and today was sort of the celebratory lunch for that. Luckily, we were able to go to a steakhouse uh, where I got a steak and some broccoli. The steak was actually had like blue cheese and bacon on it. It was quite nice. But uh, my 23-1 intermittent fasting day is hosed. Um, but we didn't eat until about like 1.30 or 2 o'clock, so I, I'm still at like an 18-6 window for today, um, which isn't too bad. So I'm gonna pick it back up tomorrow, do 23-1 uh, tomorrow as well. Thaw. Thaw, damn you! So, my plans were dashed yesterday to do an entire week of 23-1, but it was fine. I still managed to do like a 17-7 split yesterday as far as my eating window went. Um, and then last night I just had, you know, I nibbled on some pork rinds because I had that gigantic steak for lunch. Um, but today I'm back at it, doing 23-1. Gonna hit the road, get in my running, and then, uh, Stop eating until dinner time. So I will see you later on. All right, here's dinner. So last night I did up that gigantic uh, sirloin. Ate it all by myself. Had an avocado, cheese stick, couple of protein shakes and that was it and uh, gonna do another day here it's Thursday I'm planning on doing maybe a fathead pizza tonight I'm jonesing for a coffee really really want one but I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it hey hey it's lunchtime and I have gone to the store to pick up some cheese for my fathead pizza that I'm planning on making tonight. It's the only ingredient I do not have. I might pick up some pepperoni or some other sort of topping-y thing to put on the pizza. Pizza town. Good morning, it's Friday. Yesterday's dinner was intoxicatingly good. It was the best fathead pizza I've ever made, for sure. Um, I really overdid it, I ate the entire thing is the, it's the most I've overeaten I think in like seven or eight months so this morning it's Friday morning I got up at about four I went to bed at nine last night I got up at four and I decided to go for a long run which is just ending now it's about 
20 minutes until seven. I ran for 10 miles and then kind of walked slash shuffled for the last three miles. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good. Gonna go get some water and then have dinner tonight. Get ready for my vacation tomorrow morning. Saturday morning. Hey guys, it's been four and a half days of intermittent fasting. If you subtract the Tuesday snafu, I think I started this week at 220.4, if I recall correctly. And uh, we'll see how I did this week. Daddy. So I'm back, I'm showered, dressed, ready for my vacation. Um, so that's the end of my week long journey into 23 to one intermittent fasting. Um, and results sort of inconclusive. Uh, I ended up at about 218.2 this morning, which is well within the range I've been hovering for the last few weeks or so, we'll see where the trend goes, if I continue to, to lose a little bit, or if I bounce back up. That said, I didn't have a terribly difficult time with uh, not eating breakfast or lunch this week, uh, but I do miss eating. I love eating so much. Um, I like getting up and having a coffee. I like getting up and having, um, you know, a little something to eat before work, and then I like having a bar or something midday. I did miss eating. I didn't and I, but I think it was all psychological. It wasn't actual physical hunger. I just kind of missed shoving food in my face because um, that's what I, you know, that's what I like to do. Uh, but, you know, well within, you know, my comfort level, I, I wasn't ever uncomfortable. But I did find that when I got home, I tended to overeat dinner, just really kind of went hog wild, which may or may not have contributed to you know, where I ended up on the scale at the end of the week. So let me know what you guys think about intermittent fasting. I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Um, have you done 23 to one before? How did it go for you? Did you have specific weight goals when you started? Where did you start? Where did you end up? Uh, I'd love to hear from you, so leave me a comment. Uh, that's gonna do it for this video. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. You'll get a fresh, fancy video like this one every week. And you can find me on Instagram at ADKeto and on Twitter at AD underscore Keto. And I will see you next time.